This is my Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 4, and I've been using it for the last couple of days, and I've been thinking about what the best way to protect this would be, and I decided to just go with a tried and tested Samsung silicone cover with ring case. Now, I'm not even kidding. Um, over the last year that I've owned the Galaxy Z Flip 3, I've seen so many people use the ring case. Now, personally, I wasn't a fan of it, and I told you guys, but... I, just the fact that I've seen so many people use it did make me reconsider and I do want to give it another shot So I do think that the ring design is definitely changed on here a little bit So let me go ahead and pull out this uh, case. So I did go for the arctic blue color uh, I think it looked pretty good on the website. So I'm excited to see in person. Wow I actually do find this color to be really nice. So it's a very p nice Pastel blue and it looks very fresh. Let me go ahead and pull this out. Okay, so this comes with the ring kind of semi-detached, uh, unlike last time where it didn't. So I actually know that this time around you can take it off and detach it. So um, the last time I thought this ring was not detachable and I made that and I said that in the video and so many people were rightfully so pointing it out that it is detachable. So if you don't like this ring and you still want a nice silicone cover, you can just get this and remove the ring. But uh, let me go ahead and pop this on without the ring first to show you guys what the fit is like and what the design is like. So it is a uh, silicone case. It does have a hard plastic interior and a soft silicone backside. Um, there is tape on it for some reason. I have no idea what exactly it's for. Oh, it's the adhesive pads to stick onto the back of the phone. So let me go ahead and get rid of all this plastic and put this onto the phone as well. So you can just kind of snap it in like this. And this is what it looks like. It's a pretty, um, nice looking design i would say very clean and it does add a considerable amount of bulk to the phone so that is something i'm noticing um let me go ahead and show you guys so this does look interesting i do notice that there is a clear imprint of the in internal ring or the 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 mounting uh sort of the, the grab point of that ring i don't know if the camera is doing a good job of picking it up but i can assure you if you were to look at it in person you can very clearly tell right here that the um, this this case has something on the inside of it. That's very weird. I usually haven't seen it, but it has cutouts for the mic, the charger, uh, the speakers, and pretty much a clear design. Of course, a cutout for the power button because it is also the uh, fingerprint scanner. But it looks pretty nice. And let me go ahead and just see this. So what's the lip like? There is a decent lip above the screen. So the front is already raised and there is another... Um, slight raised lip on this case so if you were worried about this being front side up on a table this won't be a problem this will definitely protect your phone even more than the already raised lip of the Z flip so let me go ahead and remove the case and let me show you guys what it's like to remove it so removing it is pretty easy you just kind of pry it off and it comes off pretty smoothly let me go ahead and install that ring on it now and show you guys what it's like with the ring so it won't cover the uh, entire hinge, which is unfortunate, but also makes sense. Uh, the ring is very high quality, so it is a metal matching finish. This this looks absolutely wonderful, this ring. The quality of it feels good. It's nice in the hand, and um, it just it feels really good. It's color matched too, so that's very nice. It's just the small little details that do matter. So let me go ahead and plug this in here. Go ahead, it's pretty simple. You just press it into place and that's about it so let me go ahead and do the other side there we go and this is what it looks like now so it has this kind of you know hook design where you can just use it as a hanger and uh, let's go ahead and pop the phone in from the bottom and now from the top and there we go so this is what the phone looks like with the uh, case in it Oh, the case looks like with the phone in it. What am I even saying? But I do have to say, like I said with last time, the problem with this uh, was the positioning of it because I do feel, feel like this is a little bit too high. Uh, it is flexible, so you can kind of just have it in your finger and bring it down a little bit. But I feel like over time, this much pressure on this will end up just making it loose or tearing it up over eventually. So it's not the most comfortable position for it. Um, something a little bit lower, like right here. Honestly, a ring right here would have been way more comfortable because naturally this is where your hand will rest. Uh, like I don't have small hands. I have pretty, what I would say, average sized hands. And um, this is where my hand naturally rests. Um, I can just grab my iPhone too. And you guys will see, naturally that's where my hand rests, kind of like right here. And 
um, that makes sense because you can see right here is where the finger lands naturally. So this is a slightly too high of a location on this ring, but I will say this, the ring is very sturdy. Um, I can very comfortably, I would do this with this and not worry about this flying off. It, it's sturdy, you can twist it, and you guys can see it's not really causing any damage. The, the lock here, the, the kind of metal buckle that's holding this together is very, very secure. So um, quality-wise, this case is good. What I'm not liking is the bulk of it. It does feel very bulky because of just the way the silicone is. And another thing that I'm not a fan of is just uh, this recessed screen. It just ends up, the corners end up collecting a lot of dust the way it's designed. Um, but the thing is, you can't really change this either. I don't know what this workaround for that is, but it is just something I've noticed with cases for the Z Flip 4. The uh, design otherwise is very nice. I do love this color a lot. I'm very happy with my color choice of Arctic Blue. There's a bunch of color options. Um, there's, there's navy, there's, there's a bunch. I'll, I'll put them up on screen and I will have them linked down in the description as well if you wanna check them out. So this is a $39 case, but Amazon already has them for $35. And at $35, honestly, not a bad pickup. Um, if you're okay with the positioning of this ring and you do like this ring kind of uh, design, I, I don't see it being an issue. Will it be a problem when you put it in your pocket? Kind of, It'll because it doesn't really get flat in any way. It's just gonna kind of always protrude. Um, so you, you can just put it in flat like this and then use your finger to pull it out like this. But I do fear that um, it's, it's gonna be a little bit tricky, especially because this is a silicone case. It will just pull your entire pocket out. Um, if you've ever used a silicone case, you'll know that. But I think that overall, this is a pretty nice case. I personally still wouldn't rock this ring style case, but I can recommend this for sure. If you are somebody who likes ring style cases um, and you're okay with the positioning of this, you'll definitely have to try it yourself to figure it out. But overall, I think this is a good pickup for $35 or even $39. I don't think it's the worst value. Um, the quality is high. The colors are really nice and I am happy with this case. So if you have any more questions about this case or if you wanna see more photos of it, be sure to head over to my social media. I'll have some extra photos of this over there. Uh, I'll have all the hang handles right here on the screen and of course linked down in the description below. If you wanna check out this case or some other cases for the Z Flip 4, I'll have them linked down in the description below. Uh, you guys help using those links, it really does help the channel grow a lot. So I always appreciate it when you guys do that. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more Galaxy Z Flip 4 content. A lot more coming your way. Very excited to get some more time with this phone. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.